Resistance is futile. Drink the tea. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will continue exploring Taimushan. We had a day trip to the conservation area in Taimushan to visit Shutai. You might remember her from our blog post a couple of years ago. Our white teas are all exclusively from Taimushan, and Shutai is one of our two producers. She's close to 90 years old, but she still takes care of a small tea garden and continues to pluck tea for herself. If you haven't checked out episode one of our fooding tea trip, where we went to visit a wild tea garden, I'll put the link up on the screen. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos about tea trips, brewing instructions, and much more. The way to Baifudong Temple, where Shutai lives, is a really fun path with plenty of twists and turns, ladders, and caves. If you're interested in what we experienced on Taimushan, just keep on watching. All right, we just got dropped off by, uh, by uh, Chan Singh, and now we're going to go see... Uh... He's going to pick up pick us up a, a little bit ahead because yeah. this walk will be super beautiful super beautiful let's mm -hmm. do it you can see the rock there already thank you for the texture so we're on a beautiful mountain path oh. crossing a brook look at the, the bridge oh. a bridge made with sticks seems pretty safe i love this Oh, the stone is so divine. If a bell rings in the forest and there's no one there to hear it, does it make a sound? Oh, we just stumbled across some more tea. And luckily, Chun Sing came back to pick us up. <laughs> oh, wow. Coming up to a little lodge. Oh, that's really old see by the trunk. This is quite an old tea bush. Those are super old. Those are trunks there. Yeah, look at them. Look at the stick. I just want to zoom in on another one. And you can see they're old, but they're also, see, there's several stems coming straight from the ground. Unlike the uh, trees in Yunnan, where it was a single trunk, although some of them look like a single trunk. So. I'm still not 100% sure on how this whole bush tree thing works. Here's another one. Yeah, I'd love to taste that. Wild flowers. Okay, super local food alert. We're about to go into a place uh, that I don't think would be possible to find without the help from uh, Chunsing. Here we go. So we're in a, a restaurant, I hesitate to use the term, and we're about to eat, but the walk is actually wood fire. You can see uh, this lady is stoking the fire to make sure the temperature is good. And here is our supper cooking here. Good luck finding this place without a local. We were greeted by the monk in the yellow robes. And now we're going to settle down to eat. So we just finished lunch and we've come back up the hill to that uh, building I was at earlier with the uh, spring. And now we're, I think we're going to have tea. I sure hope so. Let's get in there. Yep. 
It's looking good for tea. We had a great peaceful tea time after lunch there. Though white tea has very simple processing steps, there's always innovations being done and attempts to improve the taste of the tea. However, I really feel it requires a high level of concentration and honed appraisal skills to really get down to the differences. Afterwards, we headed out to the higher and deeper parts of Taimu Shan to visit Shutai. But first, we had to stop at the statue of Taimu. So we're just at uh, Taimu Shan, uh, and this is a statue behind me of the uh, goddess who is alleged to have discovered the mother tree of white tea started out as a uh, sort of giving it as medicine to sick kids and it made them better and then it became white tea i think that's excessively abbreviated but that's what i gathered i'm doing my best you've probably realized by now that almost every famous chinese tea has a fairy tale like story and a long history that dates back quote unquote thousands of years these are common tea marketing tools that cater specifically to the chinese market which is very nostalgic I was surprised to learn that sci-fi is not such a big thing in China at all, especially compared to their historic-based TV shows and movies. How interesting is that when we talk about culture and differences? Okay, let's keep climbing. We're actually at the Taimu Reserve now. It's kind of like a, I don't know if it's a national or a provincial park, but it's that kind of feeling. Um, you have to kind of show your identity to get in, uh, and it's just gorgeous. So we're gonna walk around a bit and see what there is to see. We've already seen plenty of tea bushes. Just a spectacular view of nature and civilization together. Gorgeous mountain here. Beautiful. And plenty of tea. Let's catch up. Just look down by those rocks. You can see they've got uh, just in front of the tea garden. There are some veggies or something growing in rows. Just wonderful. And I think those are three old tea plants there as well. So we're just heading down the stairs, hang a left into this unlikely uh, tunnel sort of thing. Here we go. There goes Jianli. Here I go. Watch your head. And back up we go. Oh, it's so cool in here. We're in the shade and we're surrounded by rocks that are covered in moss. And back down we go. And coming back up. And there is Chung Sin. Sing. And again. Just look at this. Yeah. And we keep on rolling. I think we're going to meet some friends here soon. So that was awesome. We just came through those tunnels. And Super cool there. And very it's cool. Hot here. And hot here. And now we're going to go in and meet some folks. We're just walking into the area where they used to make the tea when they were just getting started. Let's go in. What an environment, what surroundings. Still lots of firewood here. There's a rolling machine, lots of wood. The roof is actually the rock. There's some concrete, but then it's the rock. 
And a big room. Very cool. And another room over here with a hole for making fire. Probably used to be a pan here. It looks like it was concreted over. Wow. This is a natural. It's the rock, yeah. yeah. I commented when I came in. This is the bat cave we call. <laughs> well, I thought this fire hole was for what might have used to have been a, a panning station up here that has been filled in, but that was totally wrong. It turns out this is the bed, and the fire is actually here to keep the bed warm during the winter. It can get down uh, definitely below 10 degrees. Below zero is very rare, but uh, obviously that's pretty cold to be sleeping. It's very open air here. We're basically in a, in a cave. Isn't that cool? So this is just outside the bat cave, and... Uh, that's actually what they call it in Chinese, not because of Batman. Um, and here is the area where they would dry the tea on this uh, patio here. They would sun dry it here. And this is the rock that makes up their ceiling inside. That's the bedroom window, firewood, and just on the other side of the firewood is the door. Stone look like that. Feels really, uh, I don't know, really like from a movie. You've got to go through these caves, and the temperature changes. Yeah, now we have a ladder, and uh, the temperature drops probably five degrees, and the humidity is still high, so it's very cool in these. Uh, so pretty. Going in through here, back up the steps. And Singa is going up uh, the ladder. Two. Are we going with him? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Uh, got it. Mom is coming out. Hold. That's pretty unstable. You might want to hold it for her. And also be careful too. It's really close. Jenna's coming up the ladder. There we go. Yeah, you're okay. You got a handrail there too. Yeah, yeah, I get it. All right, let's go. Try to keep up with the locals. Pretty tricky. So this is a tea garden, it looks like we've come into. Oh, I think I have saw a picture of him on that ladder. Wow, super old tea. Super old tea plant here. Look at the size of that trunk. Now you know why the white tree tastes so good. <laughs> now that my translator has arrived, I got the lowdown on this old tree. It actually would be even bigger, but Shutai had to chop it because it was getting too big for her to pluck. So there's a couple spots you can see it was uh, it was cut uh, so that it would stay low enough for her to manage. So uh, that's pretty pretty amazing. Like, but you can still see the base trunk is just enormous. If the last video you see is really fast trees coming in, it didn't end well. Let's have a look down. Not supposed to look down. Oh boy. That's really pretty. I was that kid who always run right to the edge. So I'm standing on the edge of a cliff uh, in 
Shifu and Shatai's tea garden. And uh, it's just beautiful here. We had to climb a ladder to get up here, uh, going through a secret cave. Like, it's just crazy. It's beautiful here. And we're right underneath the rocks of Taimu Mountain. It's just amazing. So I was mentioning the blend of uh, nature and civilization. And right now I'm right at the edge of it. You can see this rock that I'm standing on. This giant rock is uh, it goes straight into the roof of this building. Isn't that amazing? It's all sealed up. And down below you see they've got their garden. And these people live here. This is their home. There's music in the background, and birds chirping. I'm just in heaven. And there's the temple over there. Fine, going down is always harder than going up, especially when we hit that ladder. I think that'll be a little bit tricky. But down we go. Here comes the ladder. Let's watch the leader. We're gonna do what he does. Maybe not actually. I should have got a slow-mo. <laughs> <laughs> How's the moss? Is it pretty sticky? No, I'm not doing that. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna turn this off to go down. Don't make this a, a an insurance video. Here we go. Nice, not too bad, not too bad. Well done, well done. Nice. All right, Ma, you're up. She's gonna do the jump, I bet. <laughs> and everyone is safely on the ground. Nice. Back into the cave. Just coming back through here after visiting the garden and I noticed these vines sort of hanging down. Just beautiful and so cool in here. I bet on hot summer days people just come down here to hang out. Mm, I definitely would. Beautiful. So I just realized there's Shatai and we were up on top of that rock right there. That's where the garden is, just over there. And uh, there's uh, stairs up there from in the house. Shatai just brought us some fruit. Dun, dun, dun. Let's follow. She went up to get the fruit for us. <laughs> oh, and that's why she was upstairs. She was getting the fruit for us to eat while we have tea. Lovely lady. <laughs> So here is the temple we saw from the highway, wedged between two rocks. It's entirely made oops, <laughs> of bronze. Just beautiful. Beautiful setting here. We just uh, coming back down the mountain now, and we're, we came by this reflecting pond on the way in. And now we're heading on our way out. Crystal clear water. I have to, I want to believe it's mountain it's, spring water. What is that? That's Probably is. That is a leaf or something. No, no. And those that's are moving. Oh, oh yeah, that's a bug. That's definitely a bug. And those are fish. So as we head, uh, as we head back down the mountain, I uh, really hope, really, really hope we'll come back here. This is a really, a really magical place. I loved it. All right, this is totally unrelated to Taimushan, but I've got to show you this motorbike because it's so interesting. So motorbike and scooter are a huge mode of transit in China. And it rains a lot in this area. So they often have these skirts on the front. This is kind of a homemade one. Looks like it's made out of yoga mats. 
Then they have these mittens attached to the handlebars to keep the hands warm. And most spectacularly, there's an umbrella attached to keep them dry while it's raining. And it doesn't blow over when they ride it. Now, they're not going down the highway at like 200 kilometers an hour or anything, but they have an umbrella attached to the motorbike. So that's pretty cool. We're driving back down the mountain. I got to admit, I'm a little bit sad. It was pretty awesome. It was totally awesome. Breathtaking views, awesome people, fresh fruit, even a little bit of black tea. <laughs> but I have to say, I'm also pretty happy because the next stop is Wu Yi. Later. We had a great time in Taimushan and we're now at the train station heading for Wu Yi, but we hit a major snag in our trip. <laughs> we, we plan to be here a little bit early so that we can use the massage chair and just to sit here and relax. This Wait, train station doesn't have massage chairs. Yeah. Total disaster. Last time we used that in a small station, I actually have it. It's about the same size. I'm just really disappointed they didn't have that here. Yeah. Don't come to fooding. <laughs>